Hey you guys, it's Christina. One of the biggest issues in the raw, vegan, or vegetarian world is the topic of B12. B12 is an important issue for all health enthusiasts, whether you are vegan or not. So I'm gonna share with you everything that I've learned within the past eight years of being 100% fully raw so that you can share this knowledge as well. I'm not claiming to be a health expert on this topic, and I'm definitely not recommending that everybody take B12, but I just wanna share with you where I'm coming from and the research and the knowledge that I've gained and that I've absorbed within the past eight years. First, let's go over some B12 basics to help you understand the topic. Anyone can have a B12 deficiency, whether they are vegan or not. So what is B12, may you ask? B12 is a vitamin. There are many different types of B vitamins out there, but this vitamin particularly is found in soil. Many vegans or vegetarians are worried about not getting this vitamin because it is a, it is a vitamin that is typically found in meat-based products. Animals who eat grass or eat dirt are eating this vitamin in the soil and therefore their products contain this vitamin. It can also be found in fruits and vegetables. However, it is only found in organic, wild, very nutrient-dense, soil-rich grown fruits and vegetables. Because many people out there are consuming conventionally grown produce that's not grown in rich soil, it's very easy to be B12 deficient when eating those foods. So while B12 is also found in fruits and vegetables, it is actually also a flora that is produced in your colon. Humans have evolved over time, and many humans produce this intestinal flora, and some do not. Many people who are going raw or vegan or vegetarian are typically worried about being deficient in this because they're no longer consuming animal products. So since I've been raw, I've had many people ask me if I take B12 and if I am deficient. So I would like to tell you a little story. About six years ago, when I, probably about two years into being raw, I had a good friend of mine who ended up being B12 deficient and he asked me if I wanted to supplement with him. So I thought, why not? What's the harm? I heard that there are no negative side effects of taking this and that it can actually give you more energy if you do take it. So I went out, I got the B12 supplement, and shortly after I had a conversation with Dr. Graham, the author of 801010, one of the raw food pioneers in this movement who has basically been leading this for about 32 plus years. And he told me, Christina, get checked before you start taking the supplement. Because B12 is a flora that is produced in your colon, your body may stop producing it if you start taking the supplement, and your body may even become dependent upon the supplement for producing that intestinal flora or that vitamin. Shortly after talking with him, I went and I got checked, and lo and behold, I was not B12 deficient. After two years of being fully raw, I was not B12 deficient. And there's a lot to say about this, because many of you know that I do run Raw Fully Organic which is the largest nonprofit, local produce, organic food co-op here in the US. And my diet consists of almost all local, organic, 100% raw foods produce. So there is a lot to say about eating a 100% raw foods diet when eating wild foods. But I have not been eating conventionally grown produce, so I can't say that if I was eating conventionally grown produce that I would be deficient or that I would not be deficient. I sit here eight years later of being 100% fully raw and I am still not B12 deficient. I like to get my blood checked twice a year, perhaps once every six months if I can. My levels to this day do not show any signs of B12 deficiency. If you're worried about having a B12 deficiency, let me put your mind to rest. Symptoms of B12 deficiencies include things like dementia, psychological disorders, or even chronic fatigue. These types of deficiencies can take years to develop, and even if you are taking a B12 supplement now, that B12 supplement can last in your body for up to a year. B12 deficiencies are not something that happen overnight, they happen over time. If you do get checked and if you are B12 deficient, there is one source of B12 that you want to make sure that you get. There are two different kinds of B12. One is cobalamin and the other is methylcobalamin. The one that is most easily absorbed into your system is the methylcobalamin. So if you are going to take a B12 supplement, you want to be sure to take that one. You also want to be sure to check for different vegan types of sources. 
I know that sprays are better than pill form and I know that injections are better than sprays. So be sure to pick the one that is best for you. Again, I do want to say that B12 deficiencies are not just a vegan thing. Anybody can be deficient in B12, whether you are vegan or not vegan. So basically, I just want to wrap up with get checked. If you are deficient, there's no reason to feel bad about supplementing. And if you are going to supplement, supplement with a methylcobalamin or a spray or a pill of that source that will be easily absorbed by your body. And if you're not deficient, then think for yourself whether or not you do want to supplement. I really want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any important comments or things that you would like to say about this topic, please leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to hear feedback from you guys. If you appreciate my videos and this information and advice, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your hugs below because I love it when you do that as well. If you guys would like more tips or tricks or recipes on how to go fully raw, you can check out my website at fullyraw.com. If you guys want to learn more information about the local organic produce co-op I run here in Texas, you guys can also see rawfullyorganic.com. If you guys want to see what I post daily, what I'm eating, keep up with me all the time, you guys can also check out my Facebook page at Fully Raw Christina or even my Instagram now at Fully Raw Christina as well. All right, you guys, I send you my hugs and my love, and I hope to hear from you soon.